And here we go, we're going to kick off our E3 coverage with Shark Shooter Terrapin. We're going to have a close look at him, but I absolutely love this Skylander. Shooting sharks out of a missile launcher. Absolutely amazing! Fire into the ground, and it rains down a cascade of rocket sharks. Not only that, but we've got Deep Dive Gilgrunt and his vehicle Reef Ripper. Some really nice revised weapons, as you can see. Some ranged attacks, all about the water, all about Gilgrunt, completely reimagined. And if that's not enough, go and check out our other video, our exclusive reveal of Dive Clops and Dive Bomber. As you can see, the brother, the cousin, the relative of Eyebrawl. Welcome to Family Gamer TV. We've got hands on here with the Skylantis level, and I've got Lou back again. So, hi, Lou. Hey, how's it going? And so, we've got some new vehicles here, as well as some new Skylanders to check out. So, Andy, take your pick. Which is the new one? We've got Reef Ripper is a, a brand new sea vehicle that we're showing off for the first time here at E3. It's a submarine of the sea terrain type. My favorite part, you can actually move its fin. Oh, wow. So, it's yeah, fun. it's got a little flipper, which is really fun. So, we'll face that one? Yeah, go for it. And you can see the wave on screen. It's kind of our new icon for C. Reef Ripper. Aquafin Turbine. Gill Grill. Ocean. And so the first time that you put any vehicle on the portal in the game, you're going to be presented with what we call our vehicle showcase. So, um, do we need a Skylander, supercharged Skylander? You can actually use any Skylander um, in the game, so we're going to fully support every single Skylander, and all of them can pilot the vehicles. Who should, but, who should get on here? But if, uh, if you'd like to see any of the superchargers, you can place any of them on, but if you'd like to see it supercharged, we have our perfect pairing here. This is Deep Dive Gilgrunt, and so we're showing him off for the first time at E3 this year. And what's really exciting about our returning fan favorite characters this year is the fact that we've completely rebuilt, rebuilt these characters from the ground up. And so, now that Andy's put Deep Dive Gilgrunt on, you're actually going to see the supercharge moment. Supercharge. And so you just saw how the color changes on the Reef Ripper to a really cool bronze finish, and then is actually transformed uh, with two really awesome super-powered, supercharged mods. So, so who wants to, this is Gilgrunt. This is Deep Dive Gilgrunt. And so the, the main difference here is that our new superchargers include some fan favorites, but they are actually superchargers. And so they've got brand new weapons, completely new upgrade paths, they've got a lot of new armor, and uh, new attacks. And so Gilgrunt here has traded in his kind of fire hose for, actually if you want to go to the left, there's some secret treasure along the way. Yeah, a lot of a lot of this level is navigating and finding the secret areas oh, hidden that, within the that clouds. Water, it's, it's pretty, right? And, and so, so that you couldn't see that because there was smoke sort of occluding it. Yeah, so each of our levels is built around kind of a new and unique kind of design hook. So what we wanted to do was make each level feel really unique this year. And so this level, uh, Lord Stratosphere is actually called in the clouds of war. And so we're generating real kind of volumetric clouds throughout the level that move and dissipate as you walk through them. And so here you can actually blow the storm horn and you can see some of these clear out. Good luck. So I'm just getting distracted by the Yeah, no, that. I know. He's got some cool stuff, right? Huzzah! The clouds have cleared. Well done, <laughs> peasant. And so, yeah, exactly, because we actually need to find the largest storm horn uh, in the Cloud Kingdom to be able to completely clear out all of uh, the clouds. So one thing to note about uh, supercharged combos that we haven't really pointed out is that when you supercharge uh, a perfect pairing, so like right now you've got the Reef Ripper and you've got Deep Dive Gilgrun on, uh, during on-foot sequences you're actually going to get additional health. And so if you look at your health bar, there's an additional chunk of health that you're going to get provided by having that supercharged combo. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys, these guys are the infiltrator trolls, and so they can actually eat the clouds. And so they start out small and will actually swallow the clouds. That's why when you deflated him, he kind of popped like a balloon. <laughs> yeah. And so what we've done is we've actually created level-specific enemies. So that way they're playing into kind of that level's unique theme. Oh, so head up these steps. Yep. And you found our first vehicle sequence. Good 
darkness, you're here, Skylab. So up until now, we couldn't just switch to the vehicle. We Correct. This is the moment we get to do it. Correct. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to, you know, present the gameplay in kind of a different way than vehicles have been introduced in other games. They didn't. We didn't want to be, if you'd like to play it, actually. Head over to the right. Yeah, get the right um, way. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Well, no, actually, what you just showed off was the fact that uh, sea and sky are actually side content. And okay. so the way that you were going, you could continue with the story. You must have a sky okay. view um, to enter this zone. Uh, well, what we wanted to do was provide, you know, a starter pack that players could use to complete the entire game. So this is a sky sequence, and so, no, you want to actually get a sky vehicle on okay, your portal. Okay, so this is, this is a water. Uh, C, yes. So C. It's all right. We're trying to, we're trying to make sure that the, uh, the terrain types yes, aren't the... matching with, uh, that is Sky Slicer. It's a jet. So is it worth putting Sky Slicer Supercharge Perfect pairing yes, it in is. as well? Yeah, yeah. sure. We've sky got Stormblade there. Can we do that now? Yeah, go for it. No? Stormblade? Yep, this is Stormblade. Which is probably my favorite supercharger that we've revealed so far. Super Look how cool that looks. Very nice. <laughs> and so the, the supercharged kind of points on this vehicle uh, are the engine in the back as well as the, the main hull of this ship. It's <laughs> amazing. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And one of the things that we've uh, recently added uh, since we last showed the game, you can actually see it on the UI, but when a, a character is in their vehicle, we've got this interactive kind of portrait now. And so you can see Sky or uh, Stormblade in the corner of the screen actually looking in the direction that you're piloting. Uh -huh. Now, can you do like an invert... Up and down on this. Yes, but not, <laughs> not in the now. demo, unfortunately. Yeah, no, yeah, no in the. Right, my excuse. I'm struggling here. <laughs> my brain doesn't work. I got gotcha. you. Um, and you guys drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> yeah, well, some would say. <laughs> yeah, it's the left side. Yeah, right. exactly. Right there you go. But um, yeah, in the in the final version of the game, we are enabling the ability to switch flight controls. Mm -hmm. Now, um, my kids were asking about was why you can't actually put the toy into the toy vehicle, like the toy figure. Mm -hmm. Was it, is there a reasoning for that? Absolutely. Uh, so there's actually a number of considerations there. Uh, one is the fact that at this point we've got something like, oh, like 200, 300 Skylanders, right? None of which have a, a unified shape. And so actually creating a vehicle that could fit everything from a giant to a core character to a swap force character because we wanted to make sure that all of our vehicles were pilotable by all of our characters, you'd have to make a, you know, a vehicle probably the size of this table mm -hmm. to enable that. Yeah. And so that didn't really seem affordable or fair to the consumer. But then on top of that, we wanted to make sure that these toys felt fun to play outside of the game. You know, it felt like a vehicle toy. Because the thing that we're doing this year is really adding that unique articulation to a lot of these vehicles. So, hot streak, the wheels move. You want to play with it outside of the game as well as in. Um, and then once we kind of settled on that size, we looked at it and said, well, do we want to create really, really tiny characters to put in it? And that didn't really make much sense either. And so what we figured out was you get to see them work together in the game. And we wanted to enable you to switch between whoever that you liked. And so by making them the size that we did, you get to play with them outside of the game as fun vehicle toys, but then inside of the game, you get to see the character and the vehicle interact. Well, I'll report back to my son. I'm not sure he's going to be convinced, <laughs> but I'll, I'll relay that information. There you go. If you want, tell him he can build a giant, like, you know, wooden version of Hot Streak <laughs> to fit, you know, eyebrow in there. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. So if we wanted to switch a character mid-flight here, could we do that? Absolutely. So if, if I just take him off, will it pause? Yep. And, uh... To clarify, Stormblade is a she. Oh, sorry. I'm so bad at... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. All the, all the sort of dragon Skyland is female. Is that right? Is that an easy way to That's remember? a bird. Okay. Wings. <laughs> Wings Skylanders. Uh, uh, I, I don't know, actually. I'd have, to, I'd have to take a look back at that. But yeah, you can uh, actually know. Hot, or Spitfire back there has wings, and, and he's a male. Oh, that's just confusing. I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So is this version of Terrapin the new one at E2? Absolutely, yeah. So this is a, a brand new version of Terrapin. This is Shark Shooter Terrapin. 
And so you can see he's got a really sweet set of armor, kind of this cool dirt clawed armor. And then he's also got, he's traded in his boxing gloves or his, you know, boxing fists for this kind of reef rocket launcher, we call it, because That's it amazing. actually, it fires out uh, shark rockets. <laughs> and so since uh, Terrafin here is a land shark, so too are his rockets. And so when you get to an on-foot sequence, you'll actually see how the rockets will come out of the launcher and then dive underground and burrow toward enemies. Cool, so now we've got Terrafin teamed up with... The sky slicer. Sky slicer. Uh, yep. Does that mean it's, it's not a perfect pairing? So it's, Correct. So disadvantage to that. Apart from uh, your steering. <laughs> yeah, apart from your steering. So one of the things that you'll notice is that you no longer get that extra additional bit of health. Uh, you no longer get the additional damage boost tied to a supercharged combo. Um, but one of the things that's really cool is that when you do the supercharged combo, you do permanently unlock uh, those mods for your vehicle. Um, but in addition to the mods, there's some body work that changes when you've got your perfect pairing. Um, but you saw how you made short work of those guys anyway. Yeah, that's good. Nicely done. Even with inverted controls. <laughs> yeah. Or non-inverted. And so now you can actually go back about your business on foot. And so I was kind of saying earlier is that what we wanted to do was provide the game with kind of a, a unique <laughs> feel. you got to press the jump button. Um... Uh, a unique feel as to how the vehicles were incorporated. We didn't want the vehicles to be just a simple thing that you hopped into to go from point A to point B. You know, we wanted them to have gameplay experiences that were just as exciting as playing on foot with your Skyline. And so that meant action, adventure, they've got their own puzzle solving sequences. Uh, there is traversal as well, but we want to make sure that the vehicles were used in a really fun way. Actually, if you want to see something really cool, come on back here and go to the left. I'll watch over these bugs here. I love um, Harapin's rocket launcher. Yeah, his uh, triangle attack's really cool. He, he does this lunge. And if you hold it, he'll actually launch rockets into the ground, which then fly <laughs> up and rain back down. And so this is a supercharger gate. And so these are not elementally aligned, it's just tied to the superchargers. And you're going to mash X here and reassemble it. And the, so these are areas that superchargers can access throughout the levels. So in the game, you still have elemental um, zones and gates as well? So elemental zones, um, at least as far as the elemental strong zones, are back. So as you're playing, you'll, you'll hear it call out, you know, Eon saying that a life Skylander is stronger in this zone. Um, but as far as level by level basis, we actually don't have elemental gates. Okay. Uh, so what we've done is we've really focused on the terrain for the vehicles. And so it's each level having a uh, sea, sky, and land experience. And then um, I'm just focused on your platforming <laughs> here. I know. I'm distracting you. All right. So, yeah, so it's kind of a memory game here, and so blowing the, the horn will clear out the clouds temporarily, uh, giving you an inkling of, of where you're supposed to go forward. So let's, let's clear this one, see what happens. All right, so you can see it's this rotating platforms. You can. Sneaky. <laughs> Ah, so there's something I can show you real quick. So once these enemies are defeated... Alright, so this is a random luck chest, so pr uh, mash the square button, and you'll spin <laughs> the wheel. Yeah. And so our loot this year is actually randomized. And so as you go through the game, you're going to find these random luck chests, and you never know if you're actually going to get a hat, if you're going to get a legendary treasure, or maybe even a soul gem for your character. Oh, yeah. Go for it. And so to your right, that glowy bit, if you want to see if you can catch that, you found a wish stone. And so our team at Vicarious Visions has actually brought in uh, a functionality that they had put into, uh, I believe it was Lost Islands, oh, yeah. which was their, their tablet game. Uh, and it's these wish stones, and we have a wishing well in our hub. And so that ties into that random loot as well. So you can collect these wish stones throughout our levels, and then when you're back in the hub world, you can toss those wish stones into the well and also get something new, unique, and random. So here we're seeing it saying that there's light uh, element strong here. Yeah. Is that suggesting we're going to get light Skylanders? That's correct. Yeah, light light and dark are now a uh, permanent stable to yeah. the elemental mix. And so we'll have two supercharged characters and vehicles for each one, is that right? I guess we'll see. It's not been announced. 
but with 20, you can do, do you can do math. I can sometimes. Uh, <laughs> and in terms of um, upgrades, is there anything we can see around how you upgrade these characters? Uh, so we don't have the upgrade screen in the demo, but as far as superchargers are concerned, um, they are positioned similar to a, a Skylander, and so they have their uh, main set of attacks as well as the branching path leading to a soul gem. And soul gems appear in the game, so you Correct. find them and it plays a little video? Yes. Right. And so here you can see we've kind of reinvigorated our, our laser puzzles, so no longer are they tied to a push block. They're actually tied to these rotational discs. Nicely done. Yay, hey, I'm getting better. This is good. The Terrapin's hat at the minute seems to be like a UFO. Yeah. Are there any more outfits and trinkets, wasn't it, from... Uh, from Trap Team. Yeah, I uh, honestly I don't know. Stuff yet. Ah, <laughs> we've, got we've got so, we've got so <laughs> many systems in the game that I'm like, let me, let me think about that. So one. I need to put a land vehicle here. Correct. So I wouldn't if I didn't have one. But you will. In the starter pack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everyone will get a land vehicle in the starter pack, and one of the the ways that we also make sure that you can progress is that the Skylander's life is what always determines your life, and so the vehicles only provide an additional overshield. And so you will never be without a land vehicle. Unless, you know, your kids steal it and run yeah, off with or it. Or lose it, yeah. Yeah. Hot streak. And so Hot Streak is actually the vehicle that we're providing in the starter pack this year. So in the starter pack, you're going to get a vehicle and two superchargers. And so out of the gate, you're going to get Hot Streak, you're going to get Super Shot Stealth Elf, and you're going to get Spitfire. And how about the vehicle customization? Um, uh, press left or right on the D-pad. Anytime. Anytime. On the D-pad. And then you'll use the analog stick to switch between parts. And so this is kind of Skyland's version of tuning your car. And so we didn't want it where kids would get under the hood and like fiddle with knobs and switches because that's not very exciting. So we've actually done it as far as changing whole parts. And so if you hit left on the D-pad, uh, you'll go to the other uh, vehicle-specific customization spot. And so you can even see how it's changing stats on the vehicle, like armor, top speed, acceleration, handling, and weight, mm -hmm. which you would if you were tuning your car. So the green bits, are the, that's what the tuning's going to do. Exactly. And then press uh, circle if you would like to, to continue. And then you also, if you'd like, uh, have his perfect pairing. And so you yeah, can... We'll you can yeah, if you'd like. So that would be Spitfire. Mr. Spitfire. <laughs> Mr. Spitfire. <laughs> Or maybe Master Spitfire. There you go. Supercharged. And so he's now supercharged his vehicle. And so once again, you can see in the corner, you've got that extra bit of health. You've got the addition of the, the overlaid shield from your vehicle. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. You can do it. This is, I've not, I've, this is the first time I've actually sort of had hands-on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels really sort of sticky and nice. Oh, good. Uh, the left trigger or the X button, we duplicate it, but uh, is a drift button. Oh, yeah. And so if you're driving, you can hold the drift button and get some really cool uh, speed boosts and uh, drifting. And so as you're going, you'll be collecting these gear bits. And so each of the, the vehicle terrain types has a specific kind of maneuver um, that will actually supercharge the gear bits, tripling their value. And so you'll see if you're going to drift into a gear bit or if you do a speed boost into a gear bit, uh, it'll be worth three instead of the standard one. What's the speed boost? Uh, speed boost is just when you hit the boosts on the track. Oh, okay. Or if you do a speed boost at the end of a drift. And so here, nicely done. You're getting your donut on. I like seeing that. <laughs> cool. Going off the, the kind of skate park here. You saw that we actually uh, recently added in this really cool stunting system. And as you go over jumps, your vehicle is going to do a really cool trick and always, like a cat, land on its feet. <laughs> and so our vehicles have uh, two main weapons. And so square for Hot Streak is that really cool purple flamethrower. And then triangle uh, is the ability to do a kind of charging, flaming uh, speed attack, which you can use to charge into enemies. You can't go through the gate. How do you back up? Uh, hold circle, and you can back up. And so you'll also see kind of a lightning bolt uh, on the damage pop-up, and that's letting you know you're getting that damage boost from the perfect pairing. I see. 
<laughs> I can't stare. <laughs> Can do it, Andy. Do I need to ring those bells, or is yeah? So to, to actually unlock the gate once you've defeated the enemies, uh, you're gonna want to ring all four of the doorbells. Good, <laughs> go straight. Yeah. Right, it's back to front of me. Uh, right, it's screen relative. So if yeah. you just want to go right, you just point right. If you want to go up, you point yeah, up. Yeah, just like um, Super Sprint used to be. Okay. Can play that. Okay. Uh, which uh, I'm trying to remember which one Super Sprint is. Top down. Like is it like nine, uh? 90s. Is it the one with the wheel? Yeah. Yes. Where's, who's left? Uh, there's the two here, and then there's also one additional one up top. Oh, I need to do the bells. Okay. Yeah, you need to do all four of the bells. And so this is kind of an example of a, a vehicle puzzle. And so, you know, as I was mentioning, we wanted to make sure that the vehicle sequences had just as much to do in them as our on-foot sequences. And so it's not just focused on, you know, speeding down a highway. You want to hit this <laughs> jump here. Yeah. Can line up with the gear bits. Oh, oh no. So, yeah, you missed. <laughs> um, so it's not just speeding down highways and, and things like that. It's actually doing combat. It's puzzle solving. Yes. Nicely done. You did a sweet flip as you did, too. And so you've gotten all four, and you can now transition from a vehicle sequence back to the on foot. Nice. Yeah. And so what's kind of cool is that each each level we're focused on, you know, delivering different types of vehicle encounters and different types of vehicle kind of feel. And so we've got areas where you're doing um, oh, so this is this is actually a vehicle upgrade area. Okay. And so Sharp Finn has brought his Shark Pit crew, and that's where you'll go to use those gear bits to upgrade your vehicle's weapons and your shields. We got Flynn. We of course okay. we've got Flynn. We got Flynn, Callie, Hugo, Tessa, Eon. The gang is back. And so now you're playing as Spitfire. So I think you'll you'll like Spitfire's speed here. And so you can try and take out these guys. This is probably my favorite name. It's a meteorologist. <laughs> nice. The, the the puns are strong. <laughs> And so this is another one of those level-specific characters, and what's kind of fun about these guys is that they really match up well with our infiltrators. These guys launch clouds, those guys eat clouds. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. They're in perfect pairing. There you go. <laughs> the supercharged enemy combo. And so Spitfire here, he's all about kind of speeding around. You can see you've got that teleport, which you can use to dash through enemies. He's got a really fast melee combo. And then my favorite is he can actually twirl around so fast uh, that he creates a fire tornado. Right. Yeah. What, is it, what, what um, element is he? Uh, he's fire. Yeah, which would make sense. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and actually, if you hold down that dash button, which is a circle, you can do a multi dash, and he'll race between enemies. I see, like that, yeah. Yeah, so it's great when there's a lot of like small enemies, like chompies or those those bugs, the the lightning bugs. There. Oh, this fire. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the fire then carry on damaging them once it's gone. Once you do it. Uh, the the, fire, the tornado. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's actually great for clearing out boxes and stuff like that because it'll just carve a path through destructibles. Is player versus player back? I don't know. Not talking about that yet. <laughs> uh, we are, we're just talking about main story mode. Yeah. And of course you support the traps. Yeah, so the trap support, uh, we want to make sure that every toy functions in the game. What we want to do this year for the traps is kind of do something a little different, where we want to make sure that every toy... Which way should I go? Well, I'm uh, if you want to check out the C, you go to the left. You can toss in that supercharged oh, yeah, uh, Reef Ripper that. there. And so for the, the traps, what we want to do is make sure that any player playing the game gets value out of them. And so for us, we had to figure out what do we want to do to make sure that... Nice fin flip, I like that. <laughs> uh, we want to make sure that any player buying the game, just this one, gets value out of even the previous game's toys. And so we've kind of redesigned what the traps can do. And so the traps in Superchargers function with the vehicles. And so when you're in a vehicle sequence 
and you put a trap in the portal, you're actually going to get an elemental ammunition type for that vehicle. And so if I'm playing with Reef River here and I toss in a fire trap into my portal, you're actually going to get fire ammunition oh, to wow. use nice. against enemies. Yeah. And then for um, on foot, what we wanted to do is really reward players. Uh, so holding X, sorry, holding X will allow you to submerge at any point. And so you can let go or hold X to be either surface side or underneath. Uh, yeah. And then there's the gas plug. Yeah. And I'm just, I mean, I'm just using the triggers that seem to double. Yes. Well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, the, you have to hold down the gas. Gas. Correct. Go Correct. Yeah, it feels really different having a, a skydiving thing where you're going underwater. Skydance. Yeah. Right. And so here it's kind of you'll see if you go underwater that there's a hidden track all the way to the left underneath those buildings. Thank you. <laughs> so, left. Yeah, so oh, see yeah. on the left it's a hidden pathway and so the team is effectively building kind of two tracks on top of each other. And so it's really encouraging players to go above and below the sea. Um, but what's really neat is that level by level, experience by experience, our zones are changing. And so you could either be on these canals like this at the end of the sequence, there's actually um, a whole combat arena. We've actually got areas where you're going to fully submerse underneath the water, exploring uh, underneath the waves as well. And so there's a lot of different experiences that players are going to get to experience with these vehicles. Uh, my personal favorite is we have a sky sequence that's top-down camera. gives you an old-school arcade-type feel where you're dodging bullets and shooting at enemies. That's my favorite. Yeah. And so I need to ask, on yep. the, with the water vehicles, can sure. you play with them in the bar? Are they waterproof? You know, uh, I don't know. Um, it's That's one of those what things. Do. I know. I know. I do um, the honestly, bar. honestly, I don't know. I'm, we'll uh, find yeah. out. Yeah. Because I think the Skylanders have traditionally always been waterproof. Tra so traditionally, we've always made uh, rugged toys. We do a lot of work to make sure that they feel great. Um, unfortunately, we can't, you know, guarantee one way or another. So. So it's worth finding out there. Right. Oh, or down. There you go. Nice timing there. Yeah, it reminds me of um, Wave Race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the uh, N64. Woo. Yeah, so one of the things that's kind of fun is that the team's built, and you don't really get to see it here, but you'll get to see it in the next sequence, is a really fun kind of dynamic wave system. And so from a development side, for us, that just means that there are sequences in the game where the water is, is going absolutely crazy. And you'll see here we've got this combat sequence against this storm sequencer here. And he's going to slam down and create the waves in this pool. But then he has this lightning strike, which will also dynamically change the shape of the waves. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, because it's really making me bob up and down. Yeah, exactly. So, this, so our sub attacks, what have we got here? Yeah, so the, the square button allows you to shoot way? these uh, electrified anchors. And then holding the triangle button, he does kind of this uh, s electric kind of sea anemone. Uh, type attack. Do I need to be facing the right direction for that? Um, for the sea and enemy attack? Yeah. No, it's more of an area of effect oh, around the vehicle. And so these submarines here will actually charge at you uh, and go underwater. And so you got to defeat these guys before you can start taking on the storm sequencer again. It's great. I love yeah. it. It looks really good. It looks like it's had a real sort of graphical boost. Oh, absolutely. I mean. I think you, you know the team at VV, I always joke, but they're, they're basically a bunch of scientists. Yeah. And so getting, getting their technology, you know, getting uh, graphical enhancements, they're building this you know, with a focus toward the newest generation of consoles. And it's, it's the best Sky you know, Landers game we've ever made. And I think it's absolutely incredible looking. Um, wow, good. So, these, so these guys are armored gunboats. And so one of the things that we want to do is make sure that there are different enemies for each you know, type of terrain. And so these guys, really armored, so you can take them out by shooting at them. Uh, but a, a kind of a nice trick here, if you can hold the X button or the trigger, you dive underwater, they can't shoot you, but ah. you can lure the lightning strike of the storm sequencer to destroy those guys for you. And so mixing up our enemy types so that these guys are focused for underwater combat, the gunboats are on surface combat, and so what I like to do is try and get rid of the submarines first, and then that way, I can dive out of the way safely from the rocket launchers from the gunboats. So I'm safe here. Yeah, but you got to watch over the lightning from I the, want to the get, sequencer. I want to get the lightning on over here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. See, once it turns red, 
boom. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, and so kind of coming up with new and unique strategies, new and unique play styles, and, you know, ways for kids to experiment and try out against these different enemies and uh, terrain types has been an absolute blast for us. You can do it, Andy. That's it? You did it? And now the massive explosion will send you back to the dock. Wow, I'm exhausted. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Yeah, and what's crazy is when you think that that's actually side Excellent. content. Yeah, wow. And so really making sure that we're you know, fulfilling the fantasy that fans want to have with each of these types of vehicles. You know, so diving underwater, skimming across the surface, taking on undersea enemies, exploring the caves undersea, and that's just with the sea. And so that's actually the end of our demo. We've got, cool. a, unfortunately, an invisible wall there preventing you from going forward. Great. Well, thanks a lot, Lou. That was yeah, really good. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you got your hands on.